Okay, so here we are. Final question of Statistics and Mechanics Year 1, Chapter 8, Mixed Exercise, Question 9. A plane flies P to Q, then Q to R, displacement of P to Q and Q to R, these different vectors, and they've given us a diagram. Something like that. Um, 100i plus... 80j and 50i minus 30j and this one is p q and r okay and we have di directions this way this way this way okay so what's the question uh, find the magnitude of the displacement p to r so basically we're looking for the length of line PR. Okay, so first off, what is um, PR? PR uh, is going to be equal to um, PQ plus QR, which is 100I plus 80J plus 50i minus 30j. So we end up with 150i um, and 50j. Find the magnitude of the displacement. So that is the displacement, but the magnitude of it will be the length of it. So we need to do Pythagoras on that which gives us 150 squared plus 50 squared, square rooted, of course. Okay, so this is the magnitude of PR. Okay, um, 150 squared plus 50 squared, 25,000. The square root of that, of course, is 158.11. Uh, what was uh, meters? Okay. Part B. Find the total distance the plane has travelled in getting from P to R. Now, because it has travelled p to r it has traveled up to q and it has traveled down to r so we need to find the length of the two sides that make up the vectors pr and qr so again it's going to be the pythagoras of both of those vectors okay squared of course and added together in total so let's take that part b and we are going to have um, the square root of 100 squared plus 80 squared plus the square root of 50 squared plus 30 squared. Not bothered about the minus because the two minuses make it a plus anyway. Okay. Um, so square root of 100 squared plus uh, 80 squared added to the square root of 50 squared plus 30 squared all in one long line on the calculator and it gives us 186.372 meters okay Okay, and now finally, let's go and find for part C. They want to find the angle, the vector PQ. Okay, so here's the PQ um, makes with the unit vector J. So J is the vertical here. Okay, and the unit vector, of course, is only one long. So we are looking for this angle in here. So as we come across 100, 
on the i and 80 on the j. We are looking for the angle here, which of course is the same as this angle here using your z angles or alternate angle theorem. So we can do the tan of theta is going to be opposite adjacent is going to be 100 over 80. And so theta is equal to inverse tan of 100 divided by 80. 51.34 degrees. And that's the end of chapter 8 and the start of the mechanics section of this book.